Um, I thought it might be helpful, uh, and indeed my church warden suggested it might be helpful for us to um, just have a quick update uh, video on where we're up to with our Building a Haven uh, project and uh, the kinds of things that we hope to do soon. Uh, so first of all, and this is um, encouraging, we're in the final stages now of uh, going through the faculty application uh, process to permanently remove the pews and replace them with chairs. So basically we need permission from uh, the Diocese of York to do that. And we've gone through that process and uh, we're getting close to the end of it. So hopefully in early September, we'll be given permission to do that. Uh, as you know, we've chosen the chairs that we will be uh, putting into the building. They have to be particular kinds of chairs to be uh, allowed. And uh, we had a little vote about that and a little discussion at PCC about that a few months ago. And so those chairs will be coming in, hopefully, uh, just before Christmas, but we'll have to wait and see the exact timings. And that will cost about £16,000 for the chairs and the storage uh, and everything else. These things are not cheap. Um, but that'll be the first thing that happens that will be pretty obvious. Uh, now, in um, part of the permission that we've been given to replace the pews with the chairs, or at least that we expect to be given soon, uh, is that we then want, need to level the floor in the church building. Now, this is also one of our priorities uh, in the work that Claire's been doing uh, over the past year or so for building a haven. We've come up with those uh, important priorities for our building. And one of them is to level the floor so that that space in our church is accessible and is versatile and we can use it for all sorts of things, church things and community things. Um, and so we want to be leveling the floor anyway. And the advice that we seem to be uh, being given is that we need to do that within two years, um, but that probably that doesn't have to be too expensive or complicated a process. So obviously we'll uh, reflect on that advice as we get it, but it, the lower uh, estimates for that are around £20,000. So that's the probably the next thing internally that we'd be doing uh, in terms of the church building. Now, there are also a number of other priorities that we uh, came to as a church, as we did those discussions with Claire and as she put things together uh, in terms of the, uh, the Haven project. One of them is that we wanted to try and improve how the front of the church looks from the outside so that people can see that we're uh, a haven, can see that uh, that it's a, uh, a good place to, to be that doesn't look closed or doesn't look kind of run down. Um, now, depending on what we do um, and when we get into thinking about the details of that, that could cost um, various amounts of money, but it would be uh, one of the cheaper aspects of uh, the project and of our priorities. Uh, we also want to install an accessible toilet in the church building itself rather than just in the hall uh, or in the other annex and um, and also to bring in some basic facilities for refreshments or basic kitchen facilities into the church as well so that the church building itself can be used uh, without necessarily needing access to the hall for those things um, now again the costs aren't aren't uh, precise at the moment but those two things would be in the in the sort of lower tens of thousands uh, when we get to do those parts of the project the more expensive things that uh, we need to deal with over time uh, first of all there's the stonework you you will know that the stonework is uh, not in a good in good shape a lot of it some of that is more urgent than others and um, depending on what funds we can access at different points, uh, we can be pragmatic about which parts of that we're able to do uh, at different times. But um, altogether, the repairs to the stonework would cost several hundreds of thousands of pounds. But it's not as though we're saying we would have to do that all at once. Um, we just need to be aware of what's most urgent. And also before we do that, we're trying to find out what the specific causes of the erosion of the stonework are so that we know that before we go ahead and do repairs. And then the other major aspect uh, of what we're wanting to do 
so that our building is is equipped for the future um, is to replace our heating system now again it's difficult to put a, a price on that at this stage because the technologies are developing for uh, low carbon heating and because uh, we don't know uh, what those costs will be or what the best solution will be yet for us uh, but we're having uh, advice given to us and what we will do is when we level the floor if we're not replacing the heating system at the same time we'll make sure that the way the floor is leveled means that we can do that at whatever point in the future without any great um, difficulty so they're the main things the main priorities that we have uh, that's the uh, leveling of the floor, the frontage of the church, the, the accessible toilet and kitchen facilities, the change to the heating system, and then the stonework repairs. And those things don't all have to happen at the same time. We can do them in whatever order seems to be best, depending on the funding possibilities, depending on how much money we're able to raise. But it's helpful for you to know that the more money we have towards this project, the more flexibility we have in terms of being able to take the opportunities that arise at different stages. And we want to keep that vision uh, very much at the, at the forefront of our minds, that this is about uh, making our church building um, accessible for our community, um, a place where we can be worshiping God and inviting others to enjoy his presence for many, decades and, and we hope even centuries to come. Um, just to let you know as well, uh, in case uh, this seems a bit confusing, we were also able to um, ha uh, find some grant funding for the church hall, which is not part of the building a haven project in the same way, uh, but it does mean that hopefully fairly soon we'll be able to make some improvements to the church hall, to the kitchen, the cooker, the storage in the church hall, possibly the flooring and the lighting, um, depending on exactly uh, what we're able to do. So uh, there may be some improvements coming fairly soon in the church hall as well. But anyway, I hope that's useful as an update. Um, the next thing to happen is that chairs should come in, um, but we need to keep uh, remembering that this project is going to be an ongoing thing. And so we need to be thinking about how we can each play our part in building a haven. Thanks very much.